So it's a very difficult situation for Daniel uh, after that fight. I, 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 mm. like, I really feel for him because mentally he's going to be going for a really tough time. Yes. Um, he wasn't in, like he came out with the intention of making Joe quit. So I think it's mentally going to be really difficult for him. And it's when he needs his family, his friends around him to support him because okay. yeah, it, it's difficult. And I can understand he was in a lot of pain um, at the time, but he chose to take a knee um, and then he chose not to stand up again. Mm. And I feel that maybe a lot of fighters are saying he quit. And I think at that young age to take it, to make that decision yourself, maybe not such a good thing because it should be your corner stepping in or like they could have thrown the towel and they, they like, well, like maybe your eyes got one more round. Mm -hmm. So they maybe should have thrown the towel in or not let him go out for that round. Yeah. Or if he stood up and the ref had gone, no, then it would look better on him. Yeah. At the moment, I think it looks bad because he chose to not stand up again. Mm -hmm. And that's, it sounds harsh saying that because obviously he's got a fractured eye socket and damage, uh, nerve damage and stuff. But I know a lot of the boxing community are just like, oh, he quit. Yes. And I think it's a shame because he's going to be going for a really hard time. Um, and it's how he comes back from that, which he's going to have to deal with, basically.